Hi, my name is Mike Mitchell, and today I'd like to explain how to document sources using traditional and MLA methods. When you write an essay or a research paper, especially at the university level, it's very, very important that you document sources. If you use information from an outside source other than your own personal experience, you must always document it or cite it in your paper or research. And if you use a source from outside your own personal experience, this is called plagiarism, and it's a very bad thing to do in a university paper. When you're documenting sources, you basically need to note either in a footnote or an end note uh, where you got this information. A footnote, if this is the paper, uh, if you have a quote in the body of your text, a footnote will be at the very end of this page, on the same page where you have the quote. An end note is normally the last page of the paper, and you would have a list of all of the quotes throughout the paper on one page. Either one is normally acceptable, and with the modern uh, Word document programs, it will do it automatically for you in terms of page formatting. The only thing you need to remember is that for either, you need to normally put a number at the end of whatever you've quoted, and then the same number would be at the beginning of the line where you list the author and the publication where you got the source.